how to influence people who don't report to you is a really important skill to make you more effective at work. The higher you rise in an organisation, the more you'll be expected to work with those outside of your team to deliver results and desired outcomes. Being able to influence without authority is vital when you get to middle management ranks and beyond. A sign of not having enough influence is when you ask others to help you and they make their excuses. Or you ask them to deliver a piece of work for you and they miss the deadline agreed or they email you with why they are delaying. To avoid this happening, learning how to influence people who don't report to you is extremely useful. The more influential you are, the quicker you'll be able to do your work, the less delays and frustrations you will suffer and the more effective you'll be. To help you with how to influence people who don't report to you, we are covering firstly, make working with you a pleasure. Secondly, be interested in them and their world. Third, offer them value first. Fourth, create common goals. And fifth, build a reputation of influence. Creating and building influence with people that don't report to you does take work. That work is an investment in your own ability to do your job better and to be even more effective. Learn how to be influential without authority. These skills will become invaluable to you as you grow through your career. Firstly, to influence people who don't report to you make working with you a pleasure. You know, who likes to work with difficult, rude, unhelpful, selfish and problematic people? Very few, if any. Have you met any of these difficult people that have any real influence outside of their position? The very few I have met were very good at their jobs, so people grudgingly put up with them. Being nice, friendly, helpful, approachable etc. does not take much extra effort and it makes people happy to work with you. Even more important, being easy to work with opens doors for you to use other actions to really build influence. Individuals are much more receptive to people they like and appreciate. If they don't like you, you have to work three times as hard to influence them in other ways. It pays to be an easy person to work with. The second action to influence people who don't report to you is to be interested in the other person and their world. You like other people who like you. You are prepared to listen to people you like a lot more than you are prepared to listen to those that you don't like. You are happy to be influenced by those that you like and are probably quite resistant to being influenced by those you don't like. By genuinely being interested in the other person, you can quickly get them on side and start building a good relationship with them. Practice listening and I mean really listening to them with your full attention. Ask questions to learn more about what they are telling you. Find the areas you admire and appreciate about them and focus on these. Be empathetic and caring towards them. Make them feel important. Do all of this consistently and they will feel that you like them and care about them. This is a great basis to build professional and personal relationships with them. The stronger your relationships and the stronger the mutual trust and appreciation between you, the more influence you'll have over them. Be interested in the other person and build a good relationship with them to maximise your influence. The third action to influence people who don't report to you is to offer them value first. Reciprocity is very powerful. When we help others first, they feel obligated to help us in return. There are so many ways you can help others. Four of my favourites are, firstly, making the effort to help them when they ask for help. You know, being approachable and receptive are important. Putting yourself out to help them when they need it creates a lot of influence with that person. Secondly, looking for opportunities to help them or do them favours. You know, it might be spending 30 minutes guiding them through a problem, organising resources they need but are unable to get themselves, or sharing information or insights with them, etc. Doing favours means being able to ask for favours back later on. Third, teaching, mentoring and coaching are also great ways to offer them value. Share your experiences and skills to help them build their own. Give them career advice. Help them navigate the politics. Being a helpful expert is a great way to build influence. Fourth, protect them when they are under pressure or stressed or being taken advantage of, etc. You know, these types of actions are always appreciated and build your influence with them. So go out of your way to help others. 
building up favors owed to you means that you can ask for a lot more help later on. We all need help to be effective. The more senior we become, the more help we need from others as we no longer create value directly. The most effective people in any workplace have learned that reciprocity is really important and use it all the time. Working to help others is a key part of teamwork. My name is Jess Coles, and if you're new here, Enhanced.Training shares people management expertise, resources, and courses, teaching you how to be a great manager and build high-performing teams. Learn how to improve how you influence the people around you by visiting us at Enhanced.Training and take a look at our courses on giving feedback, saying no diplomatically, managing expectations, persuading others, and more. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. The fourth action to influence people who don't report to you is to create common goals. Most people work harder when they are helping themselves rather than when they're helping others. You know, this is human nature. Think through the benefits the other person will get when they help you. Think through the benefits their team will get. What about the benefits gained by the function or business unit they're in and of course the company overall. Another really important point. Most people are happy to help when they know you are working to help the wider group, which indirectly helps them. People are a lot less happy to help when they suspect you are asking for help primarily to help yourself. Communicate as clearly as possible the goals you are trying to achieve and link them directly to the benefits the other person will get directly or indirectly. Creating common goals are a great way to influence the actions and directions of others, especially when they don't report to you. The fifth action to influence people who don't report to you is to build a reputation of influence. Your building a reputation takes time and consistent actions on your part. When you have a reputation for being firstly you know, trustworthy, i.e. you consistently do what you say and deliver what you commit to. Secondly, when you're competent, i.e. you are regarded as good at your job by your team, peers and bosses. Third, when you're respected, i.e. you are an easy person to work with, you help others, you are trustworthy and are competent, you'll be respected throughout the business. And fourth, as you gain more influence through all the actions you've taken, you know, being trustworthy, competent, respected and helping others, being a good team player, etc. Being an influential person creates more influence by itself. Others know that you are more capable of helping them than the less influential people. You become a sought after person, a go to person to get things done. This gives you more opportunities to help others, build relationships and build favours owed to you etc. This in turn means you become even more effective in your role because you suffer less delays and get a lot more help when you need it. So in summary, building influence with people who don't report to you is an incredibly useful skill to develop. You'll become more effective in your role because other people will help you first before helping others and you'll get a lot more help when you ask for it. Building influence is an investment in your own effectiveness at work and is especially important in management positions. As a reminder, how to influence people who don't report to you includes the following actions. Firstly, make working with you a pleasure. Secondly, be interested in them and their world. Third, offer them value first. Fourth, create common goals. And fifth, build a reputation of influence. If you have any questions on how to influence people who don't report to you, influence without authority, please leave a comment below and I'll get back to you. And don't forget to take a look at the links in the description for more resources to help you. Thanks very much for watching and I look forward to speaking to you again soon.